this is the worst possible scenario. Oh, we've got a teacher here, male or female, doesn't matter, abusing kids in middle school or high school or maybe even elementary school. And, and, and my first question is, how are they not in jail? But they're not because deals get made and plea bargains are met. And then they move on to the next school. And the same thing repeats itself. It's just awful. Tell me about it. Well, it is. Mandatory reporting laws are being disregarded. Uh, one government study showed that up to 10% of children in public schools are victims of sexual misconduct from educators over the span of their time you know, in school. So so it's tragic. There's not the accountability. There's... Um, you know, there's some administrative agency action, but it's not effective. There's no real penalty on the public schools if they don't deal with the issue. There's laws in place that are being disregarded. And often the teachers' unions' bargaining agreements include provisions that make it really hard to get these allegations in the file and take action on them. It, it just ends up... Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, if laws are being violated, how can they just get away with that? You would think that somebody would file a lawsuit. Somebody would hire a lawyer. Somebody would call the police. How is this just getting sidestepped all the way through? Personal injury lawyers don't focus much on government agencies because it's so hard to sue the government. There's short notice provisions. There's different types of governmental immunity. And, you know, frankly, it's much easier to go after a religious organization like the Catholic Church the press is obviously focused much more attention on abuse in religious organizations, but statistically, the number of victims in the public schools dwarfs any religious organization out there, but there just hasn't been the public attention to it, which is why I'm so glad that you're talking about it. Yeah, of course, they don't want to admit that in the newsrooms around uh, the major media outlets, do they? That, you know, it's not the Christian organizations. It's not the Catholic organizations. It's the teachers unions who are protecting more pedophiles and more criminals than anybody else. That's what you're telling me, Teresa. Abuse happens in any human organization, but without good accountability, it's going to continue to happen. And it's, it's kind of a perfect storm between the fact that it's hard to fire public school employees, that it's expensive to do it, uh, there's mandatory reporting laws that they're they're not always following. So it's easier for them to pass the trash, to let the person resign and go on to another school district. And, you know, the, the studies show that they may wind up in several different school districts over their career. On average, some of these people may be abusing, you know, 70 plus kids each. So we really do whoa, need. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop right there. They're abusing how many kids? Some of them are abusing over 70 kids each because they're pedophiles. Some of them have repeated. And they're not in jail. They're, they haven't not, been fired. They're still getting paid. They're still getting the opportunity to be around more children and more children. That is the most gut-wrenching thing I have heard in weeks. In weeks. It's awful. They, what's happening is... You know, the reason they know about some of these people is eventually, yes, they do get put in jail, but there's dozens of kids before that. And they go back into the past and, you know, it may have started 20 and 30 years before. 